morning from New York City. It's a gloomy day today. You see the rain going on, and I'm vlogging from my second camera. Reason being is yesterday. Check it out. So someone cracked the filter on my front screen while I was in my photo shoot. So I'm gonna ask the front desk if they have some pliers because I can't get this UV filter off because when it fell, it like dented and now it's stuck on there. So I'm gonna try to get some pliers and pry it off. We got a crazy day planned today. I'm gonna meet up with these guys that are roof toppers. So they go to place to place on roofs and they do hanging stuff off the edges. Like I don't suggest anyone do it at all, but it's gonna be a really eventful day. So I'm gonna go do that and then I have a meeting afterwards. So let's get the day started. But first, Just uh, waiting for the guy to come down with the pliers while they burn this fire. It's pretty cold in New York. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh, hey. Alright, so I tried to like cool it off with the pliers, but it didn't work out too well. So I just smashed the glass. I think that was the only solution, so I'm gonna have to leave that ring on, but lens is good, that's why you buy a filter. All right, so now that I got my big camera fixed, I cannot use that small camera for anything. I'm on my way right now to meet up with my stylist from yesterday. They're letting me keep a couple pieces from the photo shoot I did, which I will tell you guys about in just a couple months. I'm so sorry, I can't tell you. I know the anticipation is killing you, because it's killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. I really want to tell you guys, but I'm not allowed. So I'm gonna walk a mile to Broadway Street to meet up with her. So let's check out New York City. I'm leaving today. All right, so it's a super chilly and gloomy day here in New York City. Not what you want, but whatever. It's a change from LA. I like getting back to this weather. I'm really excited to meet up with these guys later. I think it's gonna be really cool and fun and hopefully like a thrilling, heart-wrenching experience. Ah! In other news, Trump won the presidency. Over here. From the response I've seen here in New York City, everyone's really sad and uh, a lot of people have actually been telling me that they've seen people crying at the bars and stuff after they heard about Trump winning. This is a very democratic state. No one here is a Trump supporter. In fact, I was told that all the judges on the ballot for New York were all Democrats because the Republicans know they don't even stand a chance in New York. So a lot of sad hearts here and from the response, people are just like really groggy. I've never seen so much like sorrow and, and upsetness with a presidential candidate. This is definitely a piece of history that's weird and. It's weird to be in here in New York and, and receive this kind of response. Hey, Fraiche. Taxi, 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 tax, tax, taxi, tax. Whoa, right on, bro. All right, you guys get it. Every single car here is a freaking taxi. Holy shit balls. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, look at this skateboarding dog. I don't know what's cooler, Paddington over here or this dog on the skateboard? Oh, man, what are your thoughts on Trump winning the election? <laughs> Alright, so I think I got here. I'm calling her now. I don't know where she is. Hey. Hey, what's up? Where you at? Oh, I see you. I see you. Phoebe! What's Gucci? Alright, so I just got the stuff from Phoebe, the stylist that styled me yesterday for the shoot. Obviously, I can't tell you guys what it's for, but you guys will know soon. But right now, I'm heading back to my hotel. I'm gonna change and then go meet up with these guys and go rooftopping. And then I have a meeting, so I'll see you on the roofs, baby. Okay, so right now I'm waiting for my Uber and the only rules he gave me was to dress like an office worker. And coming from Los Angeles, I didn't really dress office because I wasn't intending on doing something like this. So I got this pea coat on, a sweatshirt, and just some black jeans with some tennis shoes. So hopefully I can get away with that look. Uh, I'm waiting on my Uber right now. All right, so I just got to the location I'm meeting Justin at. I'm waiting, I'm trying to find him. I don't know where he's at. I actually put in the wrong address in the car. So it took me like 40 minutes to get here when it should only take a nine because I went to the complete opposite end of the town. I just bought these brand new shoes and now it's raining. All right, time to find Justin. Where are you at? All right, so I just met up with Justin and his crew and this building is the one we're trying to go. That's the top. How many stories? Uh, Do you know? 57? Have you done this one yet? Three times. Okay, all right, let's do it. All right, so what happens if you get caught and have you ever gotten caught? I've gotten caught a bunch of times. Two days ago, I got caught and a guy literally told me that the police are on their way. And he was like, we were gonna get arrested, but when he got, when he brought us downstairs, he just talked to his manager, and I told I told the manager, look at my face, you're never gonna see me here again, and they let us mm -hmm. go. That's dope. Yeah, but usually, they just kick you out. I'm not doing it, I'm not, I'm not. What All right, fine, I'll do it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 
No re-entry, nearest re-entry on the roof and 55 floors. This is exhausting. Is this the roof? Yeah. Wait, what, where do you have to do right now? Climb through that window and go up an elevator shaft and open the door for you guys. Oh shit. Yeah, uh, give me my GoPro. What is this room? This is the elevator machine room. Elevators, like this controls the elevators. So I'm just gonna get this footage. I'm open that door. Cool, see you man. We'll see you up there. Heart's racing. Probably from the stair climb, but a little adrenaline. <laughs> How often do you guys do this? Probably twice a week. At least. Inspire. Do you think it's a good inspiration? How did you do that? Young Sav? Like, Yo, you're food. loco, man. You gotta take a snap. <laughs> you're not getting on the edge? No. Oh, is this the spot? You can get up all the way to the top of the scaffolding, but some great, like right here, it's, it's a complete drop. So it'll be really cool if you get on the edge. Alright, so I'm gonna find a spot where I want to take a picture. These guys are crazy, they're just hanging right off the edge. I'm gonna take these stairs up. Whoa, look at this view, guys. Amazing. Look at this city. Oh, that's the Empire State Building right there. That's the Chrysler Building. All right, where's a good place to take a photo? Well, that's the tippy top. I don't know if you want a nice photo when you hang, like hang off the- I'm not trying to hang. Oh, you don't hang? No, because that's. Hang. It's like simple. You just hold on the rail and lean over. Like it's something simple. Yo, 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 yo. Like it's something simple like this. Very simple. Chill. How, how, how far is that drop? You have to kill you. I know that. <laughs> Why do you do it? Uh, the adrenaline, yo. It's the thrill. That, that big, big tall building? Tall building. That was my first building. That's the first building you guys got on the roof on? That's my first. How'd you get up there? The whole way. Whole way? How many floors? Five. Damn. I don't encourage anyone to do anything like this, but this is definitely taking me out of my comfort zone. And like, I think taking yourself out of your comfort zone, not necessarily doing this, is like a good thing in life. Just do things that like make you experience. This is all about the experience. I don't know. These guys are crazy. I'll show you some of their photos, but this is just one of those things you don't get if you sit inside, you know? This is uh, an awesome roof, right? Yeah, it's such an amazing Have view. Have you been to New York before? Yeah, several times. Have you been rooftoping here before? No. Push your limits. But know your limits. Yeah, exactly. The very top. The tippy top. This is a view of the whole city, 360. Um, 432 Park Avenue is the tallest residential. That's wait, the, people live there? In the Western Hemisphere. So someone lives on that. Um, penthouse is worth 92 million dollars. And who lives there? I have no idea, but we've been up there before. <laughs> yeah. So how do you get to the roof when someone lives there? Um, well, it was under construction, so we climbed it when it was under construction. Gotcha. Yeah. That's crazy. But does the guy that lives there have access to the roof? No, no one has access to the roof. On one side, it's a 30 foot drop. On the other side, as you can see, it's a 1,400 foot drop. So walking on a skinny rail about this wide, it's crazy. That's insane. All right, so right now I'm trying to get a picture and if you look behind me, holy shit! Look at this guy, he's a loony. That's what it's done. This is insane. Do not try this at home. You boys are El Pollo Loco. Yo! You guys are insane! Whoa! That's dope! Oh. What are you gonna do? Fucking be on that pole right there. Why? Why? I'll feel I'll feel it out and if it's um it might be a little slippery. Yeah, it's too wobbly. Dang, that is a far way down. Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. What the heck? Why do you just trust that? Look at this. He's just on this pole above the world. You look like a stripper. You work it, Dave. You work it. God, you're crazy. 
You are absolutely insane. I'm like not panicking. I don't know why I'm comfortable with this happening. I should be way more. Yeah, you just guys seem so calm, but I, sh I feel like I should be freaking out right now. Is that just shaking? Are you recording? Jesus. Like These guys are El Pollo. Lo what are you doing? Uh, yeah, the you side. savage. Yo. You're too comfortable, my boy. You're way too comfortable. That was fucking good. Are you cool with what we're doing? Yeah, I'm cool with it. As long as you guys are comfortable. I feel, I feel, I mean, dude, like, like I said, I've done shit like this. But yeah, I mean, I'm cool with it. Just to make the genuine connection beyond, like, beyond YouTube, beyond creating together, like, I just want to know how you feel about it. Yeah, no. Then what's your message? I don't know. I think people should just do what they like. Like, I don't feel like I work every day. Like, I do, I have fun making videos, hanging out, like, and I like making people laugh and smile. It's and, like, the absolute dream for me. This yeah, is dude. my way of, um, the, the comments of like people's making people's day and like that's what like drives me like yeah okay. Yo, what are you about to do bro? Put the watch on. I'm about to hang off his fucking head. Here, I'll, I'll just I'll say it so it. casually yeah, Right here if you need to. <sighs> Yo, this is insane. This kid, this, I don't I don't think you guys understand what this kid's doing right now He's about to hang off this building It's not the time to mess around bro. If you're not feeling it, I'll do it Max. No, don't do that. Don't don't encourage him. I said you're not. That makes him seem like he's a bitch, and you're like yeah, yeah. the no, king. I'll no, be all. No, there's no bitchness like out here if you're not. Yeah. This makes me nervous. This kid's just hanging from one hand. That's what, that's his lifeline right there. That single hand. Wait, wait, wait. Give me five seconds. Alright, that feet dangling thing is super hot, so let's get the f out of here. Yo, look at his feet just dangling above the world. Oh my gosh. Yo, How you feeling, bro? Tired. God, how do you just do that? You're insane. Let's get the f out of here. Go, 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 go. So as we were leaving, going down the stairwell, three guys came up and they met us right there at the roof. They're like, yo, what are you guys doing up here? And uh, the other guys like walked up to the roof and I just, I chilled in the stairwell. So the three guys went up to the roof to get, to go after all the other guys and I just was chilling in the stairwell and they left me and locked the door behind them. So I just left. So it was kind of like every man for themselves in that situation. So. I hope those guys are okay. I just called one, he's hiding. So hopefully they, they figure it out. I got out. Um, I hope they figure themselves out too, so we'll have to see. But uh, back to my hotel we go and never doing that again. All right, so I just got word from the other boys that they did get out, the guys let them out. They said typically that's what happens. They just yell at them, they said, what are you doing in here? They let them out. My, my camera battery is about to die, so I hope it doesn't die on me. But right now, uh, right now I'm heading to my meeting. That was really exhilarating. Oh, I don't know how I can top that for the rest of the day. All right guys, that does it for today's vlog. What a crazy day it was. Sorry, it was all scattered all over the place. I was just from here to there, New York traveling, all the stuff I had to do. It was just a crazy scattered vlog, but thank you so much for watching, especially at Washington. That's a cool name, Washington, that's our capital. What's up, what's up, what's up? And I will see you guys back in Los Angeles. Uh, deuces. deuces.